the, the office that you saw there, uh, it's important to know that that is, uh, that wasn't just one part of the office, that was the entire office that you were looking at. That was, that was basically the whole thing. Um, but uh, I think this is the last time that I'll ever show this movie because they, uh, they just moved from that office uh, on Friday, so now they have a new office that's slightly bigger. Um, they decided to move, uh, recently they, uh, we had some uh, auditors, accountants coming in to uh, work on the books and so on, and they took over one conference room, and so uh, some of the staff members ended up having a meeting uh, in the car outside. Uh, and that was when they said, finally, yes, we really need a bigger office now because it had gotten a little bit crowded. So they've just moved to a, a slightly bigger office in uh, San Francisco, which is where the, the foundation is headquartered. Uh, and so uh, that's doing quite well. So when, when I think about my work as a whole, um, I think about the, the, the idea of collaboration um, that came from thinking about free software, uh, thinking about how programmers were coming together to build things. Um, and I think of this, this grand experiment of the encyclopedia as just the start. Uh, so uh, if you think about a traditional library and a traditional encyclopedia, when you walk into a traditional library and you go to the librarian and you say, uh, can you show me the encyclopedia? They say, oh, it's, it's right here. And it's a set of books about this big, um, A through Z, and uh, you know, there's all the books. But the library is much, much bigger. Uh, and there are many, many kinds of things that people can collaborate on uh, which are not in the encyclopedia. Uh, and I'm going to give you some examples of this. So this is the idea of Wikia, which is my new company. Uh, Wikipedia was founded in 2001. Wikia is from 2004. Uh, Wikipedia is the encyclopedia, and Wikia is the rest of the library. It's everything else that people might uh, want to work on. In Wikipedia, for every language, there's a single giant wiki website. So there's the Italian Wikipedia with 600,000 entries, one for every topic that people want to write about. Whereas at Wikia, it's individual specialized websites, each one about a different topic, uh, or approaching the world in a different way. Wikipedia is the nonprofit, which is the, run by the charity that I founded, the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, and Wikia is a for-profit company where the, uh, the websites are supported by advertising. So it's a different model, and we're trying to bring the ideas, the collaborative ideas, out of just the research um, and uh, educational space into all kinds of uh, cultural products. So the two um, are following a very similar growth pattern. Uh, this chart shows the growth of Wikipedia versus the growth of Wikia, uh, but lagged by three years. So this is a number of months since it started. So uh, Wikia is much smaller than Wikipedia, but it's following the same uh, similar type of growth curve, although, as you see there, Wikipedia was growing faster uh, overall, but still Wikia is growing very quickly. Um, and so our vision is uh, to build the rest of the library. So we're developing the software, we're pushing the uh, things forward to allow more people to participate. Um, one of the things that we are struggling with at Wikipedia and we're beginning to make some progress on is that the software is a little bit too hard for a lot of people to use and we want to encourage more participation. At Wikia we're really pushing that forward and of course we donate all of our software. It's all under open source license so uh, Wikipedia can end up using it. Well, right now at Wikia we have 35,000 plus wikis. Um, we're in 168 languages. Um, I would say 169 languages, but I don't count Klingon as a real language. Uh, Klingon is a made up language from Star Trek, uh, one of the, the uh, languages, uh, which they, they made it up for the movies and uh, people actually do write in Klingon. Uh, apparently it's not very easy because the language doesn't have a past tense. So it's sort of hard to write in, but... Uh, and so all these are, it's many, many different things, uh, and, but all of these websites are joined together by the idea it's information with enduring value. It may not be an encyclopedia, but it's things that people are finding valuable and uh, has some enduring value for them. Oh, I see, I'm pushing the wrong button. That's why it's going blank. Uh, so just to give you some idea of how popular Wikia has become, it's still nowhere near as famous as Wikipedia, but this is showing the traffic as compared to the New York Times, and it's coming very close to the New York Times now. Um, even though a lot of people haven't heard of it, um, it's, it's coming up more and more often and people are finding it. Um, how is that? What's going on on the internet? I think this is a really interesting trend that has been accelerating over time and that will continue. Um, and the trend is that consumer-generated media of all kind is becoming dominant. Uh, it's becoming completely dominant across many areas of the internet. 
I did a search at Google, these are Google search results uh, for uh, Muppet. Uh, the reason, the Google logo, you know how they make a funny logo sometimes. The day I did this, it had some different logo, so you can't tell it's Google, but uh, it is Google, and I typed a Muppet. Um, and so do people here know the Muppets? Yes, the, you, you have the Muppets here? That's good, that's good. I was in uh, Korea giving this talk, and uh, They've never heard of uh, the Muppets in Korea, and uh, they were very puzzled by this part of my talk. <laughs> Muppets. Uh, so the Muppets, right? So you search for the Muppets, and uh, what comes up? Well, the first thing that comes up is Wikipedia. Uh, the second thing uh, there is Muppet Central fan site. So this is a uh, message board where people are discussing the Muppets uh, 24 hours a day. Um, <laughs> Then we have not one, but two uh, Muppet Wiki entries. So this is, the Muppet Wiki is a, it's a, at Wikia, so this is a, um, our site. Uh, we have the videos, which are drawn from YouTube, and so therefore these have been uploaded by ordinary people. Uh, and we have a blog called the Muppet News Flash, where uh, someone is, you know, uh, posting news information, whatever is happening about the Muppets um, all the time. So every single website in this top uh, Google search results is a consumer-generated website. It's written by ordinary people on the internet. So what's going on? If we, if we go to, the, to Wikipedia, uh, and we, in English Wikipedia we have the category for Muppets, and if you want to know how many articles there are about the Muppets and you count them up, there are about 300 articles uh, about the Muppets in Wikipedia, which is huge. I mean, that's a lot of articles about this one pop culture phenomenon. What do we have? We have a general article about the Muppets, which is the one that comes up there first. We have an article about the Muppet Show, Muppet Movies, uh, Sesame Street, the children's show. Um, we have an article about Jim Henson, who was the creator of the Muppets. Uh, we have an article about uh, most of the major Muppet characters, the famous... Uh, uh, Big Bird, uh, Kermit, Miss Piggy, all of these things. We have all of those entries in, in Wikipedia, so you would think that's enough, right? That's everything you could possibly write about the Muppets. Uh, but at the Muppet Wiki, there's a very strong community there, um, and they've been working very hard on an encyclopedia of the world, uh, and they have created 18,935 <coughs> articles about the Muppets. <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> do they have jobs? Um, well, it turns out a lot of them do have jobs, and uh, what they're doing is a hobby. They're having fun with their friends, and they're writing everything in the world uh, and how it intersects with the Muppets. So just to give an example to show some of the differences, uh, this is the article in English Wikipedia about the Ford Motor Company. <coughs> so uh, it's a good Wikipedia article. It tells about the history of the company. It tells about the current management. Uh, it tells you know what uh, 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 how much money they're losing. I think is what it tells now. Um, it tells you uh, you know the, the basic information. And it's a nice long article, and it's a, it's it would give you the basic overview of the Ford Motor Company. Uh, but this article completely fails to mention the time when Kermit uh, was on a TV commercial uh, for the Ford uh, SUV. Um, if you know, uh, the Kermit has a very famous song that he sings called It's Not Easy Being Green. Um, well, it turns out it is easy being green. Uh, you just have to buy a Ford SUV that's a hybrid. Uh, so. This is the only thing the Muppet people care about. Um, when they think Ford Motor Company, they think, oh yes, Kermit was on the commercial, and that's what they wrote about. <laughs> now, if you tried to put this information into the Wikipedia entry, the Wikipedia community would remove it. They would say, look, someone's coming for a serious uh, look at the history of the Ford Motor Company. This one little detail is just not that important. It really does not need to be, we don't need a picture of Kermit there and, a, and explaining all about the commercial. That's just really not relevant. And this is true, so throughout the entire um, uh, Muppet Wiki, they have, you know, literally hundreds of thousands, uh, hundreds and thousands of articles about all kinds of different things. The uh, violinist Itzhak Perlman, uh, you, you wouldn't, in his Wikipedia entry, you wouldn't learn that he was once on Sesame Street, but that's what they care about at the Muppet Wiki. So for me, what's interesting about this, uh, what's going on at the Muppet Wiki, is that very often when we're thinking about new media and participatory culture, we think in terms of how does the new replace the old? How does the new compete with the old? And so we think about uh, bloggers and how are bloggers competing with uh, traditional 
uh, newspaper editorial commenters. Uh, 